Bonjour tout le monde. Today, stuff picks. We have a very charming Frenchman. Who may or may not swear. And if he does, I apologize, but I can't control it. We're going to go and meet JJ, our shop manager. If you've ever been in our shop before, you will have met him, I am sure. And if you've never been in our shop before, let me show you. Oh, it's there. I can see it. Can you speak as well? Oui, c'est moi, Jérôme. Un nom ça peut pas changer. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to the store if you've never been here before. I don't actually get to come this side as often as I would like to. So this is the first time I'm having extended interaction with you, JJ. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was forewarned <laughs> that I might need uh, a translator or okay. subtitles. Yeah. Lawrence did offer to be the translator. Oh, that's today. nice of him. That's nice it's very of him. Kind of him. Yeah. Very generous guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we're going to go through stuff picks. As always, the links will be in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. I will drop links to go through more details detail because we're just going to give you kind of an overview and your personal experience of them. Mm -hmm. To start with though, as this is one of the first times I'm meeting you, can I ask you a few questions mm -hmm. about working for Urban Rider? And sure, how of course. Been? Shoot on. Yeah. So how long have you actually been with Urban Rider? So it's uh, bang on seven years. To the seven years. Summer. Yeah, seven years. We all started uh, here. We were down, down, downstairs. And, uh, I've seen the photos. Yeah, yeah, it was just Andy, Will. Uh, Lawrence came along, I think, months or two months later. Okay. And then our estate there, they moved to the the big warehouse after, <laughs> they but disappeared. they left me here, you know? You stood your ground and yeah. stayed here, yeah. <laughs> That's it. One of the things that prompted this, we wanted to do it earlier, mm -hmm. it's one thing that Lawrence has been uh, talking about for a while, I know, but obviously because you are actually leaving Urban Rider, which I can say, you're going back yeah. home, right? Yeah, family is there, um, you know, my, my, my heart has always been there, and then, um, you know, I'm going to turn 49 in a month. Wowza. I'm supposed yeah. to say you don't look 49. Thank you very much, yeah. man. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that sounded but, uh, sincere, you don't look 49. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, so we are in uh, Jayac, in Dordogne, Southwest France. And today uh, we're gonna go on the mobilette. Very powerful. Uh, need some assistance with the pedal sometime. It's 49 cc. Yeah, we're gonna try to do something like 60, 70 km, which is quite a lot for that. Uh, we're gonna take a mobile phone in case. And we get lost. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's the idea. We are going to get onto your actual London ride in a few moments. We're all very proud uh, of do it. Do we have to? It's a source of amusement for everyone in the office, really? I think, more than anything else. Yeah. But as I said before, there is a real legitimacy to your riding and your bikes because you have a lot. I've seen a few of them in photos. Probably the best thing I can ask of you is to boil it down to some favourites. You can mm -hmm. start with the, a few that I think you've sold to Lawrence, or is it just one that you've sold to Lawrence? I sold one to Lawrence, yeah. yeah. He forgot to say that on his uh, <laughs> staff pick. Uh, but yeah, the speed triple that he had was mine. And it was way cooler when I had it, actually. <laughs> and like, um, you know, so how many have you got now? So I have the, I have the, the FE, the Beamer. I've got two mobilettes. I've got an XL500. I've got an, an SR. 400. And if you had to pick a favorite? Maybe the Beamer. I've got uh, an R60, oh, yeah. a slash 6. I think I've seen that in yeah. photos. There's That's the only really one I nice give a photos. name. I know I always find it a bit silly to give a name to uh, yeah. car or bikes, but uh, that one, I don't know. It just feels natural and I call her Josette. I didn't do any customization on it. I want to keep it as she is. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from 74, so she's kind of like a one year younger than me. And the second one I need to mention, otherwise it's gonna, uh, she's not going to be happy, is my Ducati FE Final Edition. Yes. And that is a special. I think I've special. seen a photo of that one. We could obviously talk about bikes all day long, and I'm sure both of us were very happy. Yeah, but yeah. fair enough, we are here for a purpose, which is to talk about your clothing and mm -hmm. yep. how you get on with it a little bit. So let's start with your open face helmet. You've got one down there that's mm -hmm. catching my eye, definitely. So that's the Lollipop from, uh, <laughs> from DMD. Uh, so it's a DMD vintage. Yeah. I just love the shape of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, uh, I'm want to say lucky to be a medium uh, because the size shell is from X. It does go bigger. To yes. Medium and the size large yeah. is slightly bigger. It's still really small though, isn't it? It's still very yeah. small. They, I, I mean, to me, uh, they are the smallest C approved uh, yeah. in the market. So 
put that on your head and then it looks pretty down it's not like bulby and mm -hmm. then, uh, and yeah and a lot and when that stuff came out i was like oh, I, I need to have that uh, so yeah that's why i've got it and that's i really, I really like it it's and really what are the goggles cool. you've got there as well so that's uh, speed four so um, a different frame on those because we've got a few that are black yeah they're mainly black ones. we did sell uh some red one like that i don't know if we still maybe in the future sell them again yeah uh, i think we should um uh the, it's an italian brand by faldi mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, yeah i love the shape of it it's like so 70s and it's not just they look uh cool yeah. it, it they, it works, yeah, you know, they, they sit really on well. your face. You can put the uh, visor on as well, like yeah, the on. so they come with yeah. uh, those clip on. And rather than having to take out the full visor, you can just snap Yes, it on. you can. So uh, uh, the thing is, like, uh, for those, uh, that, that the add-on one, if you go off-road, uh, the problem is, like, sometimes the dust gets stuck in between the two lenses, and you can oh. scratch the clear one. I see. So usually when I sell them, I tell the customer that, and then it's fine, because most of the time they use it, uh, you know, on the road, so which yeah. is fine. Yeah. But, yeah, so really big fan of the speed. The next helmet really catches my eye, uh, because you have <laughs> done a little bit of customization on that. I really like it. So this is the Hedon Hedonist. So uh, that's an Hedonist, and... I think the same story there. When that stuff came out, I was like, oh, I need to have that. It's it's Very it's sweet. it's cool. Uh, and then, as probably could say, the, my colleague, I've got a, a sticker disease. So when I saw that, I'm like, maybe I'm gonna put those two eyes on it, and and then maybe a pick to make it more scrambler or yeah, yeah. something like that. So that's actually. A, a bell pick. I can see, yeah, but uh, it does match because it's obviously the black and the yellow. Yeah, but bell sell those those pick just for the bell 500. Yeah, you can't play around with the studs. Oh, so right. I, ha I, I kind of uh, broke the stud, make a spacer, and replace the stud with other. I see, so anyone else who wants to stick that on there, they'd it have won't to, work. They'd have to no, no, with those bell one, uh, I think it's the 520, uh, they stick just on the bell 500. If you want to do that, mm -hmm. you need to be uh, like JJ. Oh, I've got one by me. So the other helmet we have here, is a Moto3, nearly forgot the name of them. Yeah. Uh, so the Bell Moto3 is a classic, I'll hand that to yeah. you. Yeah, so, yeah, so the Moto3, for me, it, it was, it's an icon. Uh, they did it, you know, back in the 70s, when I was like uh, 15, uh, riding my CR125. Uh, and then, uh, so I always uh, love the Moto3, and if you look up on Google for a real Moto3, a real, like an old one, mm -hmm. they, they go for crazy mono, even though you can't even oh, really? use it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when they released that uh, a new Moto3, I was yeah. like, wow, that's, that, that's really cool, and, uh, and I have to, to have it. I really like the narrowness of those helmets as well. I do like the look of those a lot. And yeah. actually, I haven't worn a lot of them, but I have more recently and what I always say in the reviews and you can hopefully back me up is that they feel really open. This Same. is a motocross helmet. Yeah. So all motocross helmet you've got a big open face to 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 get uh, goggles on. So yeah. uh, they, they did it uh, because obviously it's a bit trendy so they did uh, you know like this one for example like kind of a leather inside mm -hmm. something like that but the, if you get a plain color from the Moto3 like I yeah. have a, this orange one you've got that kind of a sporty material inside which is more spongy like uh, yeah, you know, yeah. a towel or something like that so you can sweat in because yes. that's, that's the point of it yes um, and that, I, I really like this inside it's, uh, it's, it's very comfortable okay next body part will be uh, your torso mm -hmm. jackets yeah. you've got a few behind you yeah there. so we've got uh, my uh, gold top uh, 59 yeah with so, a lovely kite tone yeah kite so um, that doesn't come with it obviously so that's me uh, doing layers and stuff that's just accessorizing that you do so exactly well. yeah so um yeah. what i like in that jacket in all the gold top actually is uh, i mean probably colleagues already talk about that um i think that you've got a lot of uh, like British spirit about that, but I love the detail, detail like the, the that puller there, uh, the inside shiny like that. It come, I, it's improved now, so I come with a uh, yeah. The, so there's a lot of people that used to wear these because they didn't have armor in originally. Then yes. obviously they've revised yeah. and improved that, which yeah. is nice to see. So mm -hmm. they keep the same heritage, but they exactly. have brought it up to date. Yeah. And then uh, so yeah, and I like I like the the, the 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 leather is super soft. They get all very nicely. That's something with leather jacket anyway. That I keep saying to my customers, the ugliest is going to be is brand new and then they will get better and better i agree better, yeah it's kind of like when you get new shoes and you just want to scuff them in uh, yeah yeah that's, the that, leather does look nice yeah yes yeah. so uh, so yeah that's that's a, a cool jacket what's the other one that you've got there just behind you then so uh let's put that oh, do you want to take the jacket that's all right <laughs> <laughs> that's good, yeah, it's uh good. so that's the worker jacket it's quite long it looks really casual which i like i like the little you know we've got a magnet there mm -hmm. um and it just looks cool on me 
you know, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you know, so you know when you try something, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, yes. man, fuck, that's, that's, I need yeah, that. There's some I stuff that. I see myself like, oh, uh, yeah, maybe not my jacket. Exactly. But some and, stuff, you know, when you get it right, it's really yeah. nice. So that's when fine. it's expensive stuff, you know, it's, uh, it's annoying uh, when that fits you. Uh, but when it doesn't fit you, happy. And then, um, so yeah, that stuff fits me. It's good price. I'm like, I have to have it. So yeah. Let's have a look at your hands, or what you put on your hands at least. So let's start with these. Yeah. Uh, Tucano Urbano uh, gig glove. Uh, I'm very fussy with glove. Top it's one of the it. most like particular things, isn't it, for fit with gloves? Yes. It can be tricky, and, and it can make or break a ride as well for me. Yeah, if I'm yeah. Just, if I'm pissed off with it, I'll yeah. be frustrated yeah, 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 the whole day long. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so true. And that's that's when the shop is so important. People can walk in and try, and then yeah. if you're not sure, you check the website, see like, oh, check stock in London store, it says that it's here. You ride in, pull your bike on the front, get a coffee, and then uh, try the stuff yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, and, and those gloves uh, do the job perfect for They're me. They're quite a soft leather They as are, well, I mean, right? look at that. They, they see <laughs> approved. So, uh, which is important in France. So, uh, yeah, in the French, you know, I'm not saying they, they're hey, not they doing everything right. right. That's for sure. <laughs> but they got that right. I think Definitely. it's uh, so you have to wear helmet by law and glove, t-shirt, naked, flip flop. <laughs> If you <laughs> want to, naked. Are yeah, they're French. They like that. So <laughs> naked, but. Yeah. Glove and helmets. Hey, there you go. And see your proof. So well, it's better than us because we could go fully naked just with a helmet. Yeah, so you're at least one step ahead. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yep. The other gloves you've got here, I would really like. Obviously, so you've got your summer and your winter. You've got yeah. a, a big contrast. Yeah. Uh, they are following um, another brand that I had before. There was Gerbing that we used to sell, uh, and they, it was a, a glove that I used to plug into my uh, scooter. Yes. Uh, and uh, and then I wanted to kind of uh, not going through the faff of all that, and then uh, yeah. I got those one. I think that's the first version of the Forge uh, so this Racer. Is. Yes. Uh, I think the new one, you've got a uh, knuckle protection. I mean, they improved, and uh, I'm not going to say that, that Lawrence designed them because I love that. <laughs> and uh, oh, I'll designed cut to his them. smiling face. Oh, <laughs> designed them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we know. So and these are the first versions. So we have these for a long while, very popular. And then Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence came consulted. along. He consulted. Yeah, exactly. On the design yeah. of the yes. new versions that we have. <laughs> so sure. now he did a good job. Similar function. Yeah. Similar kind of function with them. And you, so you like these a lot. I agree with you. If you're in the winter, if you have to commute, heated something is essential. And not having to plug into the bike is a lot easier. Yes. So I really yes. like these so, as well. Um, and they're yeah. warm enough for you. They get yeah, that's okay. The, the, the idea also, what I, also I say a lot, is uh, is you don't want to do stuff to, 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 you don't want to burn in there. The idea is really to start level one. You're still cold, you go level two. Mm -hmm. You're not cold any, anymore, just stay there. Uh, that saved my life because I'm, I'm really sensitive voice with like my feet and my finger. Mm -hmm. uh, always get super cold. So yeah, I feel the same. Yeah. And there was a certain point I was like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm, I'm too mature for this. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So, it was uh, fine when I just started riding, but I'm not dealing with that anymore. Yeah, exactly. Me too. So yeah. Next one is going to be, let's go to your legs. Yeah. And let's start with, <laughs> let's start with the under, um, so the skin UH2s, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I can remind myself by looking at the label. I'm pretty confident of that. Yeah, the Panda Moto, yeah. So you've got the Panda Moto yeah. uh, armored leggings mm -hmm. and abrasion mm -hmm. resistant leggings. Yeah. And it's a really useful thing because I, I get the impression stylistically you like to look as neutral as you can on the bike. I kind of do, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. nice that you can put anything you want over the top. So, right? yeah, I, I mean, that stuff, uh, the thing is, like, yes, the, you could say, like, oh, well, I'll buy that and I'm done, that's it. I can wear any trousers I want, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Yes and no. It's nice to have your own jeans and, uh, like, protective jeans, etc. Me, uh, uh, For me, it works really well because I have some... Uh, um, how you call it, like a boiler suit, oh, you yeah? know, and stuff like that, I which I, that. yeah, maybe later. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I've got a few that I did, you know, yeah, put yeah. patches and stuff, and I think that's so cool. And obviously, I want to ride with those. Yeah. Uh, but it's so yeah. it's really not safe, you know. If I crash on that, they're gonna, they, they you know, they're gonna rip it off, etc., etc. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's that when that stuff come along and it's very useful because that I wear it under any cool stuff that I want to wear or, you know, with that you sort it. And that's, that's when I used it, actually. If I want to ride with my, yeah. my suits or an old jeans or something like that, they are up to that underneath. The other pair of trousers yeah. that you've got down there, then? Uh, so that, it's uh, kind of a newer uh, purchase that I did. Uh, it's the Defender mm -hmm. from John Doe, the one of the guys I was talking about. Big fan of uh, John Doe. Yeah. 
today you can you can shop in a bike gear shop like you would shop in a in a high street uh, fashion thing. Yeah, you know? that's true. Because before you had you didn't have that much choice. So what was it that specifically sort of drew you to this? Was it the color? Was so uh, the style? do you well, like the, the sort of combat style? Is yeah, it I think it's cool. It's uh, I'm not going to go into it's practical because there is pocket because I would lie. It just it just I like the look of the the zip and the pocket here and there. Mm. I'm gonna you know do a you know do a turnover on that. I'm gonna yeah, wear yeah. my vans with it. You know to walk around and if you wanna. You know, ride. You know, it works with uh, the shoes that we're gonna probably talk about yeah. in a minute. But it looks perfect. And the single layer. Yeah. Um, triple A. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they all box ticked. So we mentioned them briefly. Let's touch upon them. Feet. You've yep. got some uh, boots from TCX here. I really like TCX because they, they're a specialist, aren't they? Yes. So what I like in TCX is a bit like uh, Style Martin. They that all they do is shoes. So that, uh, they do for it for bikes as well as yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. you know uh, I'm not saying that the other are crap but mm -hmm. uh, I just like that fact yeah. uh, that uh, when a brand is uh, concentrated in something you, you you know you can trust it so yeah, TCX course. they do shoes for bikes for many years mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's one point I have to say I'm a big fan of the blend too yeah I do like and I tried them on obviously and I I was. Very impressed, and I yeah. do like the look. I, for me, there's a really particular thing, but it's like the fact they've got quite a round toe. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like a pointy. Yeah, toe I agree thing. with you. I agree with you. So they're just a really nice shape to them. Yeah, and once again, it looks casual. Um, waterproof as well. Yeah, they're so waterproof. So yeah. if you're commuting, that's kind of an essential. Exactly, and quite high up. If you can see the memory yeah, yeah. is quite up there. If I could get them brand Gore-Tex, I would, uh, but sadly they're not doing it. So uh, I took the brown one mainly because I prefer So you mean the they don't do the Gore-Tex in the brown, the they do it in the black, right? They do it in it looks black like as different, yeah. far as I know. They um, do, yeah. So that's the same thing for me. I think the brown I like, the, I prefer the color of. So yeah. like, do I go for the Gore-Tex so or do I, I go I was for... a bit torn into get the black because they're Gore-Tex yeah. or the brown because I like them. And once again, knowing myself, I went to get something that I like. Yeah, so of course. I took the brown one. Next one, let me grab it. Um, from the thing that entertained me the most. <laughs> My top box, <laughs> yeah, there's my name on it. Yeah, I like that, it's your own box. Uh, so this <laughs> you've got is a Krieger backpack with lots of keys. Krieger. How um, many keys have you got, man? Ah, oh, man, this is, that's, <laughs> that's what happened when you're an important person. <laughs> <Very> important. <clears throat> bon. yeah. Krieger, a bit same story as the TCX. Krieger, what they do? Bags for yeah, biker. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, don't look uh, any, anywhere else. It, they, they, those guys, they, they do something so comfortable on your back, it's breathable, yeah. it, it, it's just, just one click, that's it. You know, you've got the one, you know, can go around, but I barely use it. Uh, why I came up with the R15 is because I realized that I used to have, I mean, I still have it, the uh, Velomaki, like all of us in the Urban Rider, because of that <laughs> yes, uh, magnetic yeah. feature, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a 28 liter, and what you do with a big backpack, you mm. just fill it up with, Shit. So, <laughs> more bigger the bag is, more stuff you put in. And you, you don't need that because you've got a top box. Exactly. <laughs> I've got a top box, you know, a top of the range one. So I don't need that. So that was like, you know, I'm gonna get the 15 liter. It's small. All I need is my lunch box, you know, a baguette and a croissant, and that's it. There you that's, go. That's all yeah. you need. So, um, <laughs> and then it's waterproof. On top of that, it's tough, sturdy. I love that stuff, and I've got it for years. I commit. Yeah every damn day with it and it's still there. Last thing, I, uh, I have used this a lot extensively myself as well. There is a review, check it out if you want to, link will be in the description, uh, is, you can open that for me. Yes. Your navigation. Uh, the Beeline. Oh, you got the metal one. I've got a fancy one, uh, yeah. Mate. Yeah, I got the plastic one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so why did I get it? More because I like the, the gadget side of it. I love yeah. But it's mainly, what I really like about it is that you don't go through the faff of plugging something to have a mount for it and all that. Because I'm, I mean, the guys know me. I'm not into technology that much. I'm, <laughs> I'm a dinosaur yeah, man. No, no. So, uh, um, but that uh, to go, for example, talking about Josette, my BMW that I have, who wants to ruin the look with a big yeah, yeah, yeah. iPad there? Yeah. I mean, most it looks, people don't even want a clock on it. Just yeah. like a tiny little yeah. thing. Yeah, and that's why also I take it. I took it in metal and silver like that. Yeah, because it looks. Oh my, honestly, it looks so cool. So I've got that little speedo, I've got yeah. just that and that's it. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, and yeah, it, the idea is good. It's not gonna give you, of course, as much information as the GPS. No, of course. But to use, as I use it, in countryside, an afternoon riding, 
I put a point down there, yeah, yeah. and then that stuff's just telling me, oh, I'll turn there. And normally, there. I don't know about you, but you kind of roughly know which way you're going. That's just to jog my memory normally. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. exactly. That's kind of a, you know, help you out, especially when you get old like me. You know, you need a, <laughs> you need a little push up for your memories and stuff like that. And that, that does the job very well. I use it on my bicycle as well. Yeah, that's good as well. Yeah, yeah you've got you the put it on the, on the bicycle mode, and then uh, I used it through Brixton the other day, and uh, I did a cool ride. I did that once on the bike, on the motorcycle, and it was sending me down some weird things, and I realised that I clicked bicycle. Yeah, I was like, I can't go down that. Yeah, you can't be talking no, about. No, yeah. Lovely. Well, I have to say, uh, I've enjoyed talking to you immensely. You're a very charming man. That's him. <laughs> we're gonna go and have you, a look at your bike. You're good too. You're good too. Oh, okay. Thank you. That'll stay in the edit. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna go and have a look. I have. I sort of teased. One thing I actually forgot to mention what you ride in London and I actually quite like that because now okay. I get to go and actually show your rides you uh, we have to yeah yeah let's go and show me hog yeah and the bike as well it's a badass bike man <laughs> okay so my bike um, it's not that one it's not it's not that one too but look at that look at that it's a 250 <laughs> X Max Yamaha from 2006, it pulls like a train. <laughs> you just do that, twist and go, yeah. and then off you go. <laughs> Start it up then so we can actually hear it. Uh, the the noise, misery? you would be surprised, man. The noise okay. is actually really good. Just, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> there you go. So this is the one that potentially Phil's gonna buy off you, right? So we'll yeah, see. Again yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, yeah, because obviously I need to get rid of my stuff before my big uh, departure. So uh, all the bikes are already in France, but this poor guy is gonna stay here. So, I mean, that surprises me about Phil because he's big into his Harleys, but I yeah, can see. Yeah, he's usually he's it. quite a badass guy, you yeah. know. It's quite <laughs> yeah, a, you know yeah. like powerful and stuff. But no, he said like deep inside I always wanted a scooter. So well, and he's, he's gonna get that nice too, yeah. So if you want to check out any of the items, check the links in the description, leave your love for JJ down below, and we will see you in another video very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>